the sun shines again. I guess I'll see another day. I'll wipe my eyes as I look into the mirror. I see need a change from the same old thing. So I'll rebuild that broken door. The empty cups I pour. New life forever. Cause I can make a change. One step each day. and I'm a student at Clayton State University's Dental Hygiene Program. And we are participants of the Clayton State University um, Serve and Learn Project, co-sponsored by Morehouse School of Medicine. I'm Dr. Susan Dooley and I am the department head of dental hygiene at Clayton State University. Our students are involved in many outreach opportunities for our university, one of them being our Serve and Learn subgrant for Morehouse School of Medicine. And with that subgrant each year, we send our students to local areas to provide not only education, but incentives for these people to come to our dental hygiene clinic and actually have care. We were at the Outreach Advocacy Center of Central Presbyterian Church right there across from the Capitol and by having our students um, do their serve and learn project there they were able to impact a population that we, we truly have not served before and that population is the homeless or near homeless. The Central Outreach and Advocacy Center is located at Central Presbyterian Church which you see behind us and was built before the Civil War. The church's commitment to social justice and serving the homeless and the poor is one of a long, rich history within our church. We now see about 10,000 people a year who turn to us for help uh, in either avoiding homelessness or overcoming homelessness. Uh, one of the biggest needs, I think, of this uh, population are dental needs, and it is one, of, one medical area in the city of Atlanta and surrounding areas that is not addressed near enough for this particular population. Do you have pain in your gums or your teeth? Yes, gums, yes, teeth, or no? This project has had a big impact on me as far as it's made me really realize that one person can make a difference. A small group of people, if they organize themselves properly and uh, they put their heads together, a small group of people can make a difference as we have. Um, we may not be able to save the world, but we can definitely make a difference in our own community. 
instead of going into private practice, I basically have decided to kind of work into the public health venue. So it's really had a major impact on my outlook on life in general, just trying to be able to provide services to the community and to give back to the community. It worked out very well for me because uh, my uh, self-esteem had gotten low because of my uh, loss of teeth and, uh, you know, it used to be a commercial saying you had a hole in your smile. So oh, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very conscious of that. It was just fortunate that I came in one day and these guys were here and uh, they made arrangements for me to go to the cop college, the dental college. <coughs> I got a chance to see how dental work is, is, is done. They uh, clean my teeth. It, it, it well worth the spend. It well worth the wait. So I, I, I value, you know, whatever they ask you to do, try to do that. Mr. Gray, uh, I met him in a restaurant, you know, a guy's room. <laughs> and I asked him, did you have a good time today? And did they take care of you? He said, you know what? I am blessed. To reach out to the next man, I could be the difference and change the world for you and me and him and her I want to change the world Step by step, nothing less than step by step Step by step, nothing less I want less. to change the world Step by step, nothing less than step by step Step by step, nothing less then step by step. Today is actually the second step of the Serve and Learn project and this is when the students actually made arrangements for the clients from the um, spot where they were doing their service learning to come here to actually have dental hygiene services. Today we're doing examinations, we're providing the prophylaxis or dental cleaning, we're taking radiographs as prescribed by Dr. Hatch who is our supervising dentist today. The Outreach Center actually made arrangements for the clients to be transported to Clayton State University for us to provide the um, services for. I understand yesterday when they were getting clients to come to our um, clinic that there were actually more people that wanted to come than we could actually serve today, which is usually the story. I think the most poignant moment for me in this whole project involved when we weren't even doing the project. I think in a lot of cases when you embark on something really, really big, something that's bigger than yourself, that there's always this sense of a aha moment where it all kind of comes full circle and it and it comes together and it makes sense for you. When I had the aha moment it was actually over spring break. I wasn't even in school. I wasn't even at the center. I was actually just hanging around downtown and I was on my way back home to the south side of town and I was actually on the expressway and I was on a ramp to get onto the 75 connector and there's actually a stoplight there to regulate traffic. So I just sat there and waited for my turn to get, get on home, I suppose. And I looked to my left and I saw a homeless man on the ramp. And I thought, I know him, but I couldn't figure out for the life of me who he was. And then at that exact same moment, he looked at me too. And then he pointed at me. So for a second there, I was really, really afraid. But after he pointed at me, he pointed at his teeth and he gave me a thumbs up. And I knew then exactly who he was. He was actually one of our clients from the Advocacy Center and he recognized me in my little red car sitting on the ramp. And even though he was on the ramp with everything he owned on his back, he was so appreciative. Hi, my name is Linda McMillan and I've just had some dental work done and I had some deep cleaning and plus I had some x-rays taken of my teeth. I think the staff here was very professional and uh, I was been, I've been recommended to come back for some more work to be done later on and I enjoyed my experience here. It was a great experience. We are very happy to subgrant with Clayton State the Dental Hygiene Program for them to design community service and service learning activities for their students. We think it's a wonderful opportunity to have this documentary that's been made about our special programs this year. We appreciate any support that you could give our programs in the future at Clayton State University, and we look forward to expanding and increasing the service that we can do in the surrounding area of the city of Atlanta.